Hi, and welcome back to the Wallflowers Kitchen. A week ago, um, we made some elderberry, elderflower champagne, and we set it aside to brew uh, for a week. Um, when we set it aside, if you remember, I said to stir it every day. Now, we did that, and after three days, we realised there was no bubbles, very few bubbles, rising to the surface. So what we did is we added a third of a packet of yeast, just normal everyday yeast that you make bread with, um, and we added a third of that to the bucket, continued to stir it once a day for another four days, and today is bottling day. Um, before starting to make this video off camera, I actually bottled up the fruit champagne that we made um, also off camera. Um, so to this I added lemons, oranges and a bag of um, red berries, uh, red currants, uh, raspberries, just all red berries really. And we did the same, we left that to brew for the same amount of time. Um, and this also had a third of a sachet of yeast in the bucket that brewed these. So we shall now put those on a shelf, um, loosen the top once a day to release um, a little bit of the CO2 that gathers. Um, and then replace the, the top and do that daily for the next two weeks. So we take the mixture, put a ladle in, scoop some of the mixture out, um, pop it into the jug. It's quite a messy job this one, but considering we get so much champagne out of it, it's worth the couple of minutes that it takes to tidy up the mess. So we shall persevere. Okay, so what I do when the fruit gathers and the elderflower gathers in the top of the sieve is I grab my wooden spatula and I tease as much juice or pommel, <laughs> but tease as much juice out of the elderflower as you possibly can. We don't want to waste any. And then I shall keep the waste to the end, see if I can get a little extra out of that later on. See if I can squeeze another bottle out somewhere. So what I've got here is our recycled glass bottle. Um, we purchased a funnel, so we've got the funnel going straight into the bottle and a nice piece of muslin cloth. I'd say we've just used this for the, the rosé um, red fruit champagne. And we just literally Pour the liquid into the bottle through the muesli, catching anything that we haven't caught in the sieve. And we just let it drip through. I literally want to take this up to the neck, so I think we need a little drop more because that's enough space to let it ferment on the CO2 to still, still form. So, Going to play silly bubble with me so I get the right amount, but that's perfect. And that's perfect to me. So I literally I use a jar just to collect any further release from the funnel and the muslin. I'm not quite happy with that, that's a bit too high, so I'll drop take a drop out. Just literally want it to the neck so it's got a bit of breathing space. And that's number one of the white champagne. Now you'll see it's quite murky at this stage, but once we leave it for the month to brew, um, 
it will get clearer and clearer as we go along. So as an example for the fruit champagne and the white one next to it, you can see there's a drum. So out of that one bucket, I managed to get 15 bottles of champagne. And that's how easy it is. And we have these plants and these trees in our communities in abundance. And we can get such luxuries from them. You know, it's rude not to use it really is what I think. So as I say, I got 15 bottles of champagne from one bucket. Um, I also managed to get another bucket, which I'm calling Rosé Champagne, um, which I added, as I said earlier, lemons, oranges and red fruits. Um, these will now go away um, in the pantry for five weeks. Um, we will gas them um, for the first two weeks. They're ready after the first two weeks, basically. Um, but 
we'll try and leave them as long as possible then of course you can leave these for a year you can leave these for as long as you want to leave them you know and the longer you leave them the better they'll be um if you drink it within the first month after the first couple of weeks etc it's quite immature it still might taste nice but it's still immature um and that's what yourselves um there are recipes when you come to this bottling stage that you can actually put um a teaspoon a half a teaspoon of sugar in the bottle before you actually add your champagne and bottle it up i don't think that's a very good idea um as i was bottling this then through the jug uh, bubbles were arising uh, when you were filling uh, when i was filling the bottle you could actually see it had erupted and it had come over the bottle top now should you add the sugar at this stage that's then feeding the yeast again, creating more bubble and face, more CO2. Um, and you can have really bad accidents, you know, the, these things will just explode if you're not going to bathe them and gas them regularly. Um, because I didn't have enough bottles for the rosé, I actually did a couple in the plastic bottles. Now the plastic bottles are actually perfect for this if this is what you choose to use. Again you just burp them um, and if the bottle hasn't been burped within a couple of days you can actually feel the bottle go hard or it can expand or if you leave it too long that's when these bottles will explode. So people do use the grotch bottle styles um, or a demijohn. But it's not quite the same because these twist tops you can release, release the fizz without opening the whole top. Um, once you have to open the whole top you could lose a large quantity um, of this lovely champagne that we don't want to waste the drop of. Um, so yes, I found twist bottle tops much easier to use. Um, and all we can do now is put this away and wait for the party. So please go out, try it yourselves. Um, 25, 30 pounds on a bowl for a box of champagne in the shop is horrific. When you can make it for yourself for less than a pound, it's fabulous. Um, please like, please subscribe, please share. Um, if you have any requests, any recipes you'd like me to make, um, put it in the comments. Um, if it's something that me and my family enjoy eating, then of course I'll give it a go and I'll, I'll try to make it. Okay, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.